Hi, my name's Karen Hastings, and this is my tutorial of how to hit a reverse stick hit. So to begin with, we're going to talk about the hand placement. So what I got taught was it's like a frying pan, like you're flipping a pancake. So the V is along the back, that flat edge, and then you clasp your hand right at the top, and two hands should be at the top. And it's kind of like you're flipping a pancake. So to begin with feet placement, um, make sure your uh, right foot is in line with the right hand side of the ball. Um, so then when you're coming into that lunge position, nice and low, okay, your stick should be slightly ahead of you. Okay, I'm nice and strong here. Yes, your knee should not be on the ground though. <laughs> well, common misconception when we're hitting the reverse stick shot, usually people go up and then come down and then that is when you usually hit the ground and then it comes off and then you miss the ball. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you're actually swinging round your body, okay, and ripping through nice and low and you keep ripping round the ball and then you swing round and rotate your hips through. Okay, so after we talked about the swing plane motion, now when you're making contact, you want to make sure that you're making contact with the ball just on the side here. If it's not here, because that's obviously back stick, okay, you need to be nice and low and make contact swinging round around the edge of the stick. So I've only just learned this new technique, little, little small detail. Okay, when I was doing reverse stick hit, I was actually coming down, I was coming round my body normal, but then I was, my body was coming down. Okay, so all my weight is going down into the ground. Now, if I'm here, okay, yes, you make good contact. However, if you want to get more power and more pace, okay, you need to keep your body nice and upright. And you have to swing round and step round. It means that you can get a better hip rotation. If you're nice and upright, you're here rotating hips. But if you're down here, you're missing that full hip rotation, you get stuck. So once you get used to being static and then coming down, lunging in and making contact, you can then get to the stage where you're actually starting to roll the ball, getting your footwork ready, then ripping round. However, if you are running at full speed, okay, a new added on, so then make sure you're not killing your speed. Actually working on using your left foot, okay, so you're actually, your left foot's in line with the ball rather than your right foot, okay, when you're running. So when you're absolutely sprinting, you can then follow through better when you're then falling into the sprint. In the context of in a game situation, I'm a defender, um, but when I'm distributing the ball, I sometimes use the reverse stick hit. Now it's so crucial that it's actually nice and flat, so it's a lovely pass to one of my forwards or one of my midfielders. So, so I'd have a full pitch here, I pretend to pass that way, rip to the side, and then make contact. Just like the overhead, the reverse stick hit is a hard skill to execute, but it's becoming more and more apparent in gameplay. So whether you're actually taking a shot on goal or whether you're actually distributing from the back. Make sure you're nice and consistent practicing your reverse stick hits. Good luck and let me know how it goes.